Hey travelers, back again this week, another vlog, and Jake instead of Troy. Hey guys. <laughs> so this week again, we're going we're gonna to highlight our bus trip a little bit. We'll talk a little bit about that, talk a little bit about Hot Passport, and then we kind of have a smoky theme, or maybe I, I got to thinking about bonfires and mm. uh, sitting around the fire. So uh, that's the kind of theme of beers that we have this week. And uh, since there's still snow and, and I can't see my fire pit, I think that's what was really getting me to think about it. But we're getting there. We're getting there. The light is at the end of the yeah. tunnel. We might be yeah. flooded out by the time. Your your fire pit might float away. Be sitting in water. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it'll be great. Uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, our bus trip coming up on April 13th. We're going back over to the Twin Cities. Uh, so anybody in the Eau Claire, Chippewa area, and then if, if you happen to be in Menominee or anywhere near Menominee or Hudson, we'll pick you up on the way over there. Uh, you can go to taproomtravelers.com slash beer run, and that's where you'll find even more information about where we're going. And it's our fifth anniversary this year, so Taproom Travelers has been together for five years this year. It's hard to believe. Wow. And so we decided to do an, uh, an around-the-world theme for our bus trip. So we're going to Uda Pills and Boom Island and Ladonia Cerveceria, which Troy can't pronounce, <laughs> and uh, and Finnegan's. So, and then Finnegan's happens to be in the hot passport. So if we, if we get a good group of people in the bus, we will give away a Minnesota hot passport. So you could win that if you get on the bus with us and uh, you can get two for ones at Finnegan's. Yeah, a lot of good deals. A lot of great deals. Yeah. Don't don't drink without your passport. Right. That's what Troy always says. Yeah. yeah. And then maybe we'll give away, I mean, if we get a lot of people, I'll give away a Wisconsin one too. Absolutely. Yeah. So then when you come back, you can drink two for ones in Wisconsin. What yep. a deal that would be. Yep. Two for one giveaway passports. Yeah. 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 And if, uh, you know, if whoever's leading the bus really gets tuned up, maybe they'll give away another one. Who knows? <laughs> You just never know what's going to happen on that bus. Stay tuned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come aboard and find out. That's right. And we'd love you to celebrate five years with us. So yeah. uh, anyway, we can break into the beers. And uh, I think we're going to start with something from Octopi. Yeah. And it's and it's a s'more beer. Um, s'mores, you know, you sit around the campfire and drink s'mores. And I've had a few different versions of a s'mores beer before. Uh, the very, I think the very first one I ever had was from Flat Earth. Over that in one's the, delicious. Over Twin Cities, they do a really good job with that one. Um, and then obviously, you know, people caught on and started doing different iterations and of the s'mores beer. Um, this one I think is just plain old, plain old s'mores. I think I've had, you know, like bourbon barrel s'mores beer before and that kind of stuff, but. Mm -hmm. um, Too much head. That tastes no. like a s'more. That does taste like <laughs> a s'more. Yes. Truth in advertising. Not not really overly sweet, which is nice. Which is good. Um, I've had s'mores beers that are crazy, crazy sweet, and I don't really care for that. Mm -hmm. Some people do. I'm not a fan of that, but uh, yeah, this is, this is quite delicious. I really want to sit by a bonfire now. We're you know, in four short months... I was Maybe. gonna say I was say we're a good two months away, but yeah, <laughs> could be four too. It doesn't it doesn't seem like we're ever gonna get there. No, good job, Octopi. That's yeah, eight percent. Not really sure where Octopi's from. I was just gonna say, <clears throat> Wanaki. Okay. Yeah, right here in Wisconsin. Head down what to Wanaki. Yeah, a lot of good ones down there. Yeah, I don't. You know where Wanaki is. Yeah, it's just outside Milwaukee. Is it? Yeah. Suburb. All those all those keys are outside of Milwaukee? I think so. I think they did that on purpose. I'm not sure. I, but, I, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm still... I mean, I've been here for 12 years, but I'm still relatively new to Wisconsin. I've been here for 34. I'm, not, I'm still not sure. <laughs> so. it's, a big, it's a big state. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of weird out. names. Yep. And uh, because you're on the vlog tonight, uh, I held this one back just for you. Uh-oh. So it's it's a smoked, a smoked beer, but it's also a bourbon barrel, oh. um, you know, aged. I appreciate you. So this is uh, from Omagong. 
And it's a bourbon barrel vanilla smoked porter. So a lot going on there. Oh, yeah. So smoked porter, just regular bourbon barrels with Madagascar vanilla barrel or beans. It's my favorite you kind know, of vanilla uh, beans, yeah. actually. You've got to have the Madagascar ones. Yeah. Put this Great in the, kids movie, too. Put this in the big glass, because that one. Yeah. Love, I love everything from Brewery Omegong. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. At least that's how I pronounce it. I think they want you to drink their beer and go like, oh my gong, this oh is so my good. Oh my gong, this is so good. Yeah. 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 I don't really get a lot of smoke on the nose. No. You can taste it, though, which I like. Not it, overly smoked, a nice little yeah, hint of it. Nice little hint on the nose. A lot of the, vanilla. Right, yeah, the vanilla the vanilla is pretty strong. But the bourbon, the the bourbon doesn't come through a whole lot there. You know, I wonder if it was just bourbon staves. It doesn't, it doesn't say that. But it, it says it was uh, no, it says it was aged in bourbon barrels. Although this is twenty nineteen, so maybe it just hasn't didn't ferment long enough. Eight point nine percent seems awfully yeah. low for seems a low. That's why bourbon you don't, barrel one. You don't quite get the bite on it that you might with awful so. low for a vlog. <laughs> yeah, right. A, a vlog <laughs> with us two. Yeah, yeah. If I'm here, usually we're under the table by the end. A lot of twelves and thirteen percent. Yeah, you know? gotta right. have gotta have more of those. I could I could drink about two or three of these. I think. Yeah, those those Safely. those those go down really smooth. Mm-hmm. I bet they get served in a snifter, which is yeah. You know, which I've learned though, if you go to go to a place that they're training uh, bartenders, they don't know. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, I got a thirteen percent beer on uh, on Sunday at bowling. Yeah. I got it in a big. I got the tall. Yeah. <laughs> I got I, a twenty two ouncer. I I had that experience with the Bloody Mary uh, a couple weeks ago. Did you? And I'm pretty sure uh, it was a twenty four ounce. She's like, which you know, which is yeah. larger than your twenty two typically. And and she said sixteen or twenty four. And I go, well, obviously twenty four. Sure. Yeah. It was. Yeah. And they, they went heavy on the vodka, and it was a good night. Yeah, yeah, nice. You always got to find a way to work the system there. If you you know keep your eye out for the bartenders and be like yeah, the one you. the one that looks clueless. Yeah. the The only problem with that is is if there happens to be a beer by the same brewery. So like Summit, you know, the place where I bowl, Summit's got mm-hmm. probably I don't know a three lot. three four beers. If you say uh, Summit, whatever, they just hear Summit and mm-hmm. they pour whatever the first Summit tap handle they see. And then you get a IPA saga. You get, yeah, you get a yeah, saga, saga IPA, IPA or, you know, ESB or whatever. And then you take a couple drinks and go, nope, this isn't it. And they're like, just keep that and I'll pour right. you another one. Right. Yeah. We're not trying to play the system that much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do, yeah but it's, you got to play the hand that you're yeah. dealt. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Play I, to the uh, best of your ability. I, I would have bowled. I think I think I would have bowled a lot better had I not had a twenty two ounce um thirteen percent beer. But I was feeling good. Yeah, so that's all bowling, that matters. Bowling bad, I still felt good. Right? Yeah. Uh anyway, we'll move on to our very last beer. So Lazy Monk, we talk about Lazy Monk quite a bit, uh, because they're they're in Eau Claire and it's one of our favorite places. Mm-hmm. And uh and I work there part time. Very, very part time now. Um <clears throat> they make a smoked bock every year and it is hands down one of my favorite beers that lazy monk makes Mm -hmm. but the smoke is different every year which is kind of the fun of it right and this year it's delightful and i would say this year is not as smoky as past not not as smoky as the past but i would say it's probably more palatable for those that are that don't like that sort of yeah right. right It, it tastes more like a Maybach, you know, than a yeah. It's than a, it's a, a, a smoked feel. It's more like a slightly a light a very lightly smoked, um, yeah, Maybach because it's not even. I mean, as you can see by the color, yeah, it it's not um, it's not very dark. Cause it, yeah, I, I brought this home. Uh, my wife she can't handle anything smoked, which. Sure. Why are we together? I don't know. Yeah, but um, <laughs> kidding. Kind of. uh, but I'm like, oh, give it, give this a try. And Beth does not approve, and she she's like, wow, that's really good. What is this? I'm like, that's a smoked box. She's like, no. Yeah. She's like, I don't like it now. I'm like, no, you you're lying. You just said you liked it. That's a smoked. You box. can't change your mind now. Right. It's, it's too late for that. So, 
Bravo, <clears throat> uh, Laos for appealing to all and and John. I, I don't yeah. know if yeah, yeah. I don't know if either one of them watch these, but if if they do, somewhere along the line, it's uh, right. Bravo on that. Right. Uh, yeah, I I think I think smoked beers in general, a lot of people just pass on them if they just mm-hmm. see the word smoked. Right. You know, it's automatic. I don't want to drink that. Right. You know, I think one of my favorite smoked beers of all time has got to be Surly. Yeah, they the, do a good the job. One, the one that they just call smoke. Yeah. Yeah. And probably one of my favorite beers from Surly, to be honest. Yeah. Um, by a long shot, actually. With, I mean, obviously the darkness and stuff, but a lot of IPAs. I mean, they, yeah, they, not yeah, really my they, they my jam, to, but tend to err on the on the hoppy side of things. Yeah. The smoke, though, that's it's a good smoke. Beer. You can only get in their in their tap room, though. In um, is it technically Saint Paul? I think it's technically Saint Paul. I think Paul. so. That's not one you have to like camp out for a week before. No, it's just the uh, it's it's just always in the tap room. I, I think every time I've been there, yeah, they just have it, and that's what I tend to gravitate towards. Mm-hmm. They also have a um, like a hot smoked beer that's got peppers in it. Mm. You know, like a, yeah, yeah. a spicier one. Yeah, and uh, Car our friend Carlos, and, and that one's hot. Yes, so. I remember we had that. Didn't we go to that soccer <clears throat> game? Uh, and we went to Surly. And I think yeah. We had yeah. that before. We were with Carlos. For those of you that are uh, fans of uh, United Soccer over in St. Paul. Ole. The, the loons. Yes, the fighting loons of Minnesota. <laughs> the fighting um, loons of Minnesota. It's a good location, though. If you ever if you want to go to a game, they got a new stadium now. Um, Surly is right there. You can almost... you can walk and take a little pil- pilgrimage and work off some of the beer to get to the stadium. Although I'm thinking that was by TCS. That was by TCS. So, the, the new stadium, I really have no idea how yeah. what it is in relation to. Yeah, It's an Uber right away. I guarantee you that. That is true, yeah. Yes. Fun fact about that <clears> game, <throat> uh, it was a blizzard. That was yes. fun. A yes. soccer game in a blizzard. I think they brought out an orange ball. They did. So you could actually yes. see what's going on. We could not see anything going on. Yeah. Yeah. However, the Loons lost by a ton. and uh, <laughs> They lost to the other uh, new team yes, that year. Yes, Atlanta. It was like 5-0 to zero or 5-1 uh, or something. Isn't this nice? We get to talk about sports. I love Troy's, sports. When, when, Troy's, yeah. when Troy's not here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beer and sports. Right. Uh, if you go... And I, I can't say because the, the Loons are in a new stadium and who knows what beer prices are going to be there. Right. TCF was still about 7 or 8. It's mm-hmm. nothing like going to a Twins game over there where it's 12 bucks, you know, a beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go my, for a game. My, yeah, my, my advice would be if you want to see baseball, do one of two things. Either go and see the um, Saints. The Saints, where you can get really, really good craft beer and it's probably three or four bucks less than it would be at a Twins game. Or if you prefer not to go to see the Saints, uh, go to any one of the three breweries that are in, within walking distance of the Twin Stadium. Mm. So Inbound and Modest mm-hmm. and uh, Fulton are all there. And uh, just drink to your heart's content and then stumble over to the Twins game. Fun tip for the Saints, if you go, you can get – you have to get it early, like the day of the game, so you might have to go there in the morning, but you can get a, a seat in the berm in the outfield, so you can kind of yeah. lay down – if you get in the left field post uh, there, foul pole, you can sit right next to the, the giant craft brewery and you can oh, just there get you up go. and walk and then lay back down. What a deal. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah. So, Little effort, a lot of baseball, a yeah. lot of beer. Right? Yeah. It's a good that's day a day. Me. Yeah, that's a hell of a day. Parking's terrible down there, so right. I don't know, you know, parking in the Twin Cities in general. but yeah. And that's another reason, let's go full circle. That's another reason to get on the bus trip with there us. There it is. You don't have any driving to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The bus will drop you off right in front of the brewery, and they'll go park in some random place, and then they'll pick you back up, and we'll go to the next place. Yeah. It's safe. Yeah. Don't have to drive anywhere. You get to do all kinds of drink. Practical. You can drink on the bus if you want. You can drink on the bus. Most yeah. people do. Yeah. Sometimes uh, Tom will make a Bloody Mary in the back, and if you make friends with him, you can get a Bloody Mary. So... I learned that right away. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, early on. Early on, yeah. yeah. It's a good guy. I never make it to the back of the bus until the end of the night, so. Mm. And usually that's, I drink it bloody to sober up. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make a lot of sense, but it does for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you haven't already checked out our social media channels, we'd love you to do that. Uh, that's That's a good way to find out 
uh, stuff about bus and what we've been drinking and where we're going and what we're doing and all that kind of stuff. We do have two new episodes that are coming up relatively soon. And uh, so, yeah, you'll find all that stuff there. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, I suggest you do that. And please share it with a friend or all of your friends, family members, acquaintances. We need subscribers, and we'd like to have more. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, check out Instagram and Facebook. And Twitter lately is in, uh, hasn't been so bad if you just – People stay, calm down a little if bit? You st well, if you stay to the craft beer side of Twitter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stay out of the politics. We don't want anything right. to do with that. That's just a good rule of thumb in general yeah. in yeah. life. Stay out of politics. Yeah. Yeah. So check out all that stuff and then, uh, you know, like us on all of those things too and drop us a line and tell us what you think of us, even if it's bad, you know, we'll, we'll take it. We might cry, but. We'll immediately delete the comment. <laughs> we'll immediately delete the comment. <laughs> And block you. <laughs> so anyway, from all of us at Taproom Travelers, who knows who will be here next week. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We'll see you. Prost. Cheers. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time. <laughs>